I think uh, this is going to be one of the more uh, challenging uh, examples uh, that we're going to solve uh, this semester. Uh, in this example, uh, we're going to use a linear function to model some uh, real-world data. Um, so uh, what we're told in this example is that the average eighth grade uh, math score, uh, which we're going to call uh, that value y, um, on a national math test uh, was uh, 263 in uh, 1990. And then on that same test, the average score had risen to uh, 279 in uh, 2005. Um, and uh, we're going to let x represent the elapsed uh, number of years since 1990. And so uh, we have a couple of questions, Al, that we want to answer in this example. But the first one is um, we want to write a linear function uh, that models uh, this particular data. OK, so let's recall. Um, some of the uh, formulas uh, that we can use to um, uh, write down a linear function. And uh, this is probably the easiest one to use. This is called the point-slope formula. So what the point-slope formula tells us is that uh, the formula for the line uh, with a particular slope m that passes through a given point, x sub 1, y sub 1, so this has a point that's given to us, um, is um, uh, this formula. So notice in this formula, you just take uh, the variable y and subtract off the y coordinate of the point that you're given. So keep in mind, this is going to be uh, a constant. y sub 1 is going to be a constant. And um, that's equal to the slope and then times the quantity x minus x sub 1, uh, where x sub 1 is, of course, the x coordinate of the point that you're given. So um, uh, to apply this uh, uh, point slope formula, uh, to write down the formula for this uh, line that's described in this problem, uh, we need to know the slope. And um, we need to know uh, the coordinates for a uh, point uh, on the line. Uh, but actually, now to calculate the slope, we're going to need to know the coordinates for two points on the line. Uh, so in the point-slope formula, we only need to know uh, the coordinates for one point. But to calculate the slope, we're going to need to know uh, the coordinates for uh, two points. So we need to write down uh, two points uh, that are contained on uh, the graph of this linear function. Uh, that's described in these uh, this problem. So uh, let me refer to those uh, two points as x sub 1, y sub 1, and uh, x sub 2, uh, y sub 2. OK, so for our first task here is going to be to determine uh, the coordinates for two points on this line. And that's where the information, the data that's given to us uh, in the problem now is going to come in um, handy. OK, so we're told that um, uh, this eighth grade score y uh, was uh, 263 in 1990. And remember now, um, uh, we're letting x represent elapsed years from 1990. So uh, the year 1990 corresponds to uh, the x value, uh, 0, because that would be 0 elapsed years uh, from uh, 1990. And then, of course, that national math score uh, is the um, corresponding y value. Uh, that matches uh, the x value 0, because 263 was uh, the test score in uh, 1990. Uh, so there we can see uh, the coordinates for one of the points that's uh, going to be contained on our line. Uh, when x is 0, uh, y is um, 263. Uh, now the second point is also now uh, quite obvious, right? Um, uh, in 2005, uh, the math score had risen to 279. So 2005 corresponds to x equal 15, because uh, 2005 is 15 elapsed years after 1990. And, and so uh, the matching y value when x uh, uh, is 15 is going to be uh, 279. Okay, uh, That was the test score in uh, 2005. So that suggests the second coordinate, um, the second a pair of coordinates for a point on the line. Uh, when x is 15, uh, y is 279. And now we're in business. Now we can calculate the slope. And then using uh, actually either one of those two, these two points, we can apply the point-slope formula uh, to write down the formula for this linear function that uh, models this data. OK, so let's calculate the slope first. So recall the slope formula, remember, uh, is um, summarized as rise over run. But remember, um, you can calculate the rise and you can calculate the run by taking 
the difference in the y coordinates for two points on the line and dividing that by the difference in the x coordinates for two points on the line. So here are our two points. So y sub 2 is um, 279 and um, uh, y sub 1 is 263. x sub 2 is 15 and x sub 1 is 0. So we get here that the slope is um, uh, 279 minus 263, which is 16 divided by 15 minus uh, 0, which is um, 15, of course. So our slope there is 16 fifteenths. Um, I'm going to estimate that to uh, one decimal place, so uh, to two decimal places, I mean. So let's use a calculator here to um, divide uh, 16 by 15. And when you divide 16 by 15, uh, you get this quantity. And um, if we round that to a couple of decimal places, uh, we can see that 16 15 is approximately 1.07. Uh, so there's the value for our slope. And now we're just going to apply um, our point slope formula uh, using uh, actually either one of the two points that we're given as the uh, coordinates here. Uh, for a point in the point slope formula, but I might as well use x1, y1 since I already have a point here labeled x1, uh, y1. So we get that y minus uh, y sub 1, that's going to be y minus 263, uh, is equal to our slope, which we're approximating to be uh, 1.07 times x minus the x coordinate of this same point, that's x sub 1, right, uh, which we need in the point slope formula. So that's x minus 0. All right, so uh, let's uh, solve this equation for y. Uh, let's set the equation equal to y. So we get that y is equal to uh, 1.07 uh, times x. Uh, x minus 0 is just x plus uh, 263. Or there it is, um, y equals 1.07x plus 263. So uh, there's the formula. Uh, for the linear function that models uh, this particular data, uh, y equals 1.07x plus uh, 263. Okay, now uh, before we terminate this example, let's go ahead and um, um, use that um, formula uh, to um, make a prediction um, or estimate a value here. So we want to estimate the average, uh, what the average 8th grade math score was on this test in uh, 2011 using that linear function formula uh, that we developed uh, in, the, uh, in part A. Okay. All right, so um, uh, what we're given here uh, is an x value, right? Okay. Uh, we know in this example that, um, uh, in this problem I mean, uh, we're given that uh, uh, that the year is going to be 2011, but that corresponds to 21 elapsed years uh, after 1990. So we're trying to determine the matching y value that uh, uh, corresponds to an x value, an input of uh, 21. So all we have to do is take 21 and substitute that into our formula and uh, calculate uh, the matching output, the matching y value. So we have 1.07 times 21. Uh, plus uh, 263. So let me uh, use the calculator again here and let's calculate uh, 1.07. Let's calculate 1.07 times 21 and um, we'll round that to a, a couple of decimal places as well if we need to. So that's going to be 22.47. So we have that y is equal to 22.47 plus 263. And of course, that's easy to add. That's going to be 285.47. Uh, ah, so there's our uh, prediction for uh, the average uh, math score in 2011. Uh, to a couple of decimal places, uh, we would predict that the math score would rise uh, by 2011 to uh, 285.47. Uh,